I'm going to demonstrate the cruciate suture pattern, or what some call the cross mattress suture pattern. Again, this is used generally under conditions of tension, uh, primarily for a skin closure. And notice that I'm using the skin portion of the daisy. Once again, you can see that there's somewhat of a gap here. Uh, again, this is the skin portion of the daisy, and we'll be demonstrating now the cruciate suture pattern. This is an interrupted suture pattern. The first part on, bite on the near portion of the, uh, the incision, far portion of the incision, reset my needle, pull my suture through, Again, this is the third bite, I'm having some trouble getting through, the skin portion of the daisy is on the near, and this is on the far. That might be confusing. And when you tie, it's tied across, hence the name cruciate. Again, these are generally used under conditions of some tension, uh, and so it's um, advantageous to use a surgeon's knot, so notice that I just uh, created a surgeon's throw, followed by a simple throw, tying the cross mattress or cruciate suture.